Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Austin Riley. Yeah, Boogie, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Almost ready to get underway. And on the hill, the big righty, Zach Eflin. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ronald Acuna Jr. And the pitch. That's in there, and we are underway. And the 01. Swings through that one. I went to. That misses. One, two. It's a ball and two strikes. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. One and two now on Acuna. That's a little bit low. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Next oh. offering is outside. Full count. Three, two. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Clips the outside corner, and it's 0 and 1. Singy, this guy, Ozzy Albee's, he is Mr. Personality. So much flair and that giant smile on the field. Eflin a move to first. Acuna dives back in. For me, one of the things I really enjoy is just the banter that he has with third base coach Ron Washington, who's helped him tremendously defensively at second base. Steps on the bag for one. And that's two. Good 6-3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job. We work closer to getting out of this inning. Here's Austin Riley. Close, but called a ball. Ball one. One and up. The pitch. That misses. Now two and oh. And delivers outside. Matt Olson waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The other way, and he beats the shift. That is cool. Not much to this the one other than just a willingness nah. to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Matt Olson. Back home, 
And the first the pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. Good. Good ball over for a called strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Come on down, Tampa. Kicks and fires. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Fights it off, he'll see another. Kicks and deals. Bows it off, still one and two. The pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Here's Marcelo Zuna. First offering misses the mark. Two on, two outs. And a count one and two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So they strand a pair. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. here at Tropicana Field and on the mound now Spencer Strider yeah but when you're a teammate of a guy like this you love when it's his turn to pitch he's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence that gives other guys confidence that hey the other yeah, team's not going to score much way, right? all we've got to do is have good at bats put up some runs and we should be able to get a win he's yeah. got some of the best stuff around the league so if he's on he has the ability to control the game and guys aren't really going to get much to hit The 1 0. Ball. 2 0. That one drifts Ball. inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. There's the strike, 3 and 1. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Pitch is in there. Three and two now. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Righty delivers. Got him. And now one away. Now it's Randy Rosarena. There's the strike. The 01. Swing and a foul straight back. And a pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. 
got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Here comes the 0-1. Slider clips the zone. First two hitters get punched no out on strikes. Strike. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball One hard ball, somewhere. That one not close. It's a ball and two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing for Tampa. We played an inning. No score. Back now in Tampa Bay. Top of the second. So here's Murphy now. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The right-hander back to work. Just no, missed. Miss. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Hard ground ball, base knock. Love how he let that ball that travel, that. trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Kevin Pilar. And first offering is fouled off. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Next offering is downstairs. Falling behind no, two and one. Just a slow ground ball this time. Slings to first, one out in second. Here's Orlando Arcia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 1-0. Right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Batting up, the center fielder, Michael Harris. Here's a speed threat, Michael Harris. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The pitch. And the 1-0 misses low. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. 2-0 is in for a strike. 2-1. Next offering is foul back. Murphy at third. Arcia at first. One gone. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here's Acuna now. Walked open the ball game. Ball one, no strikes. Second inning here, no score. Check swing, appeal to first. And he went around just enough that time. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. And a pinch. Here's a rip to short. But he's there for the third out. Two left for Atlanta. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Bottom of the second. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. Strider back to work. Ball one on a pitch inside. Way high. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Line drive. Takes it in for the out. Batting good. The third baseman. Isaac Paredes now. And that one fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. One down, base is empty. That's high, that's a ball. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Two, two. Next one in the dirt. That one missed. Got a full count. And a payoff pitch. Good plate that's appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, that but I guess he saw it really that's well. It's a really nice Manuel. plate appearance. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. There it was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Oh, and, and it's nothing in two. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Batting seven. The second baseman. 
Curtis Mead. Now here is Curtis Mead. Just missed. Oh, hi. That one oh. misses, and it's two and oh. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Riley makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Rays strand just the one. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. Eflin back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Ziggy, how about this? Ozzy speaks four languages. English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamentu. Well, the way the game's oh, expanding, that's... that can be very helpful. His meetings at the mound. Ozzy Albies, he can uh, translate for everyone. The wind and the pitch. And a good eye there. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. In the dirt. In plenty of time to first. And Albies is retired. Well, oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in, he gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Riley takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Top of the third, no score. In the air, right field. And that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Single to right in his first trip. That just that misses, that's and that's ball one. Man at second. Fought off foul. The one one. Yeah, that's in there at the knees for a strike. Getting a little a frustrated kill. with the strike zone. And it's even up. Riley over at second, one down. Line drive base hit. And the Braves score first. It's one zip. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna went down on strikes his first time through. And that's in there for strike one. Ozuna goes six foot one, 32 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Get out of here, the pitch. 
late with the swing there. Okay. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next pitch is outside. And that one missing low. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Sean Murphy. John Murphy. And first offering is fouled off. Ready to the plate. One ball, two strikes. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single, and the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Tropicana and Field, and now Taylor Wall. Not shortstop. Taylor Wall. The right hander back to work. Foul ball. Ball in one now. And downstairs. Ball. And that Two one and almost one. got him. Ah. And that's in there at the knees. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Next offering is fouled back. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Two down. Just nope. off the outside part of the plate. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's to third. And it gets by him. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Now up for Tampa Bay, Rene Pinto. First pitch, just misses. He was late there, strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Check swing, he held up, and it's two and one. Whoa, recognize that pitch just in time, able to keep those hands back. The count two and one. And the slider just misses. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And 
there's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Yandy Diaz now. Struck out swinging, leading off the bottom of the first. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. The 0 1. Line drive. That's a base hit. Coming home. Fires to the plate. Slide. Tag. Save. We're tied at one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Slider misses outside. First and second here, no outs. And one and two. One and two is the count. That's down and in. Way to lay off that pitch down. Two and two. That misses the zone, and the count's full. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three, two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of it. Harold Ramirez at the dish. They say it went. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Runners at first and second with one gone. That misses the zone. And a count one and two. Outside. That's outside. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two on, one out. In the air to left, down the line. Pilar on the move to his right. And it's caught. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. 0 for 1 so far. First offering, and it just misses. First and second, two down. And that is in for a strike. And a count even at one. Let's 
swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here at the ballpark, now the left fielder, Kevin Pillar. Kevin Pillar. And he deals. Inside oh. just missed. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats yeah. out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. This ball's chopped on the ground. And he's safe at first. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging bunt. Go ahead, run on base. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. And he's already singled in this game. That right. one's in there, 0 and 1. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And a swing and a miss with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Line, and that's a base hit. Up next for Atlanta, the center field. First and second, no outs. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. That hits the dirt, ball one. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is down low, and that's ball two. Left hand batter waits. Good eye right there. Hey, that one's in there. And now three balls and a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Three balls, two strikes the count. Ground ball right side could be two. One at second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Line to right, base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 2-1. And the throws off line, safe at third. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0.
One down, runners at second and third. The next pitch misses, ball two. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Tapped softly on the ground. Me tosses the first. Out number two, and another run comes in. Up next for Atlanta, the third base team, Austin Riley. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That's in there. One one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Two outs with a runner at third. Next offering misses. Two and two. Swing and he breaks his bat. And a foul ball. Comes a 2 2. And misses oh. inside. Matt Olson up next. And the right hander deals. So now two on and two outs. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Matt Olson up to the plate. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Action in the pen down there. Robert Stevenson up and loosening in the pen. The 1 0. Right. On the corner for a strike. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Stop. 1 1 now. Right. Yeah, there's the strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised right all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. The one two. And yeah, that's too high. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Braves three, the Rays one. Now in Tampa Bay, now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, these Rays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. They say you win. Two 
Got him looking. And there's one down. Here's Manuel Margot. 0 for 1 with a fly out. In there, and it's 0 and 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict oh, baseball. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. Let's go, Tampa. The wind of the pitch. Ball, that's up. Hammered Pilar. Going back. Back some more. Looking up. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And that's a double. Everything came together for him. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here. But once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Curtis Meade will hit next. He popped out his first time. In for a strike, going one. And that one fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be no, thinking about for a little it. while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. And it's one, one, one and one. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot. But right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Next offering Thank way you. off the plate. And that one a little bit high. Rene Pinto waits on deck. Runner at second, two down. In the air, left side, Pilar settles under this one, squeezes it, and that is that. One left for Tampa, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Robert Stevenson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Here's some real power at the plate. Marcelo Zuna. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. The pitch. 
Curveball drops in for a strike. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. This to third, Paredes. Slings it across, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Up next for Atlanta, the catcher, Sean Murphy. And here is Sean Murphy. And that's in there for strike one. And that's outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two outs. Not the best location with the fastball yeah, on yeah, strike yeah. three, but when no, you're pumping you high 90s, yeah, you'll yeah, get away yeah. with some of those. More oh. margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Ramirez steps on the bag. Third out, and that ends the frame. Down in order go the Braves. And the score stays 3-1. to one. We head to the bottom of the we fifth, and now the Ray catcher Ray. comes up to him. Rene Pinto. Rene Pinto. And the pitch. Yeah. And strike one to the catcher. Well, these Rays do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing right. very patient at bats out of them. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts one today. Ball, two strikes. That one in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And here it comes. Slapped foul. The why to kick the pitch. No, that's out. Two. That catches the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner, just a little bit off the edge. Three and two, payoff pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Randy or Rosarena now at the plate. Oh, 
First offering. Runner goes. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. One and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Joe Jimenez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Hand warming up as well. Righty delivers. And there's a ball. There's a strike. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. At the belt and fires. Stops it on a slide. The throw over to Arcia. That's one. Out there, but that's all they'll get. Now back. First base. Harold. Rob Harold Ramirez digs in now. drive and that's a base hit out of the center field. Oh the throw is wild. First and second two down. Next to bat will be the Rays four hitter Josh Lowe. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two on, two outs. Yeah. Pretty One impressive. Point. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And a 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So the Rays strand a pair, and they still trail it here, three to one. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Stevenson back to work. Gets the slider in there for a strike. You know, oh, these on. Braves putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Right hander kicks deals. Next oh, offering misses down and away. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. Ground ball up the middle. Me gathers and throws to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now, now, now. The center field, Michael Harris. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed dives, and he can't hang on. He decides to hold on to it, and he's on it first. Wastes no time there. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases and he just takes it away. 
Strike two. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. The one two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And the righty deals. Struck him out looking. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. And next for Atlanta, Ozzy Albies. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Low has it sized up. Makes the catch inning over. So one hit is all they get. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Braves three, the Rays one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Joe Jimenez. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Isaac Paredes getting ready to hit. A strikeout and a walk. The pitch. Strike one. Oh and one. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. The 2 Got him swinging. Manuel Margot next to hit for the Rays. First pitch oh. and he just misses. And the right hander deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses. Ball. Now two balls and a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Number 51 getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Way high. Here comes a pitch. Bounced up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. And that quickly, two away. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. And stepping in for the Rays, Curtis Mead. First offering, misses the mark. One and oh.
the pitch. That's through there for a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Let's go, race. The 1 1. And fouled off. One two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. That one 95 to finish him off. Rays go in order. One two three. Score holds. It's three one. Pitching change here, Pete Fairbanks. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Austin Riley now at the plate. The third base. Austin Riley. The pitch late on that fastball oh bringing the cheese on that one next pitch is outside Righty to the plate. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That was a moonshot and they add to the lead. It's 4-1. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. And now Matt Olson up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. And he deals right, right through there for a strike. strike. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Now bad. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Stepping in, Marcelo Zuna. In there for strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Sean Murphy will hit next. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1.
swing and a miss as he was late that time. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And now Kevin Pillar, and the first pitch misses for ball one. One out, runners at first and second. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Righty delivers. That one in triple digits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. In the air, right field. Low makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're up by four. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. So they bring on the veteran, Chris Davinsky. Number 48, Chris Davinsky. Michael Harris digs in now. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Ball one low. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering oh. is down low. Two up. Here we There's a strike. Left hand batter waits. And now it's three and two. Ronald Acuna Jr. in the on deck circle. Two outs. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and fires. And they're all loaded up. Now back to the top of the lineup, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And takes low for ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Sean Armstrong preparing to come on if needed. Base is loaded, two down. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah. 
He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Margot settles under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Braves five, the Rays one. Back here at Tropicana Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, Taylor Walls. The pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. All right, Tampa. The 0 1 fastball and no, it gets out it. of the way. At the belt and fires. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. One ball, two strikes. One and two here. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And the pitch. That's inside. Inside, ball. The 2 2 on the way. That's the ball. Full count. Stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Riley makes the catch, and there's one down. Now, now batting, catcher, catcher. Rene. Pinto. Here's the catcher, Rene Pinto. Just a weak fly ball this time. Makes the catch, two down. Oh, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Now it's the DH, Yandy Diaz. That one off the mark. And that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. That's a slider for a strike. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Acuna reaching back towards the wall. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. Down in order, go the Rays. They're down here, five to one. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Ozzie Albies. The wind of the pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Next offering in the dirt. And one and one. And that one clips the corner. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. 
So a runner aboard to start the inning. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. Look at it, guys. Double He's going. Runner on the goal. Pitch is high. Wow. Throw to second. Ow. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. Margot moving back. Racing back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Olsen, the next to hit, takes ball one. So two balls and no strikes. To account, you really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right-handed reliever. Nope. Ball. Here we go, that one missed. Two, one. Two, two and down on strikes he goes and that'll do it Braves strand one they leave this one though five one back right, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll now, into the bottom of the eighth number 51 number 51 Now the number two hitter, Randy Arozarena. No left field here. Randy Arozarena. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Here we go, Ray. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, and two now. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. And now two and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. No, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You no, strike no, out no. a guy three We're times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. 
Ramirez in ball. now. Outside. Takes ball one off the plate. Activity in the bullpen. Days Bell Hernandez. The rookie right-hander is getting loose. And the 1-0. Right, and there's a strike. Two. One, two. Yeah, the one, two oh. misses to even the count. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Albies racing over to make the catch. The right field, right number 15. Josh Lowe. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. On the ground right side and it goes just foul. The 01. Ball. Ripped on the ground a second. On to first, and that is that. Rays held in check here. They're down 5 1. New pitcher on now, Sean Armstrong. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Sean Armstrong. And here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. Moving off to the The catcher, Sean. Murphy. And a pitch. And ball one. That clips the corner. down swinging for the strikeout couldn't hit the fastball at the knees he's really good hitting the baseball the other way so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch clearly he had him fooled Pilar batting with one down takes a strike Movement in the bullpen, Andrew Kittredge, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. And now the count one, is one. even. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's the ball. Two and two. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And the righty deals. And now it's filled up. Gets a piece and stays alive. Three and two now. Got him looking for the K. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Two outs, base is empty. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. 
lifted in the air right center field low ranging after it no trouble here puts it away for the out and that is that no runs no hits no errors five six and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the night it's the Braves five the Rays one back now in Tampa Bay now the third baseman Isaac Paredes and a pitch ball one there the ball. one ball no strike and that one no, off the outside the edge he hasn't wanted to challenge him both of those pitches off the plate away don't expect anything down the heart of the plate you may just have to be patient and take your walk here just off the outside edge three balls no strikes kicks and deals and that's ball four ball four take your base Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Man at first. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Check swing went around. One one. Here comes a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Going two now. The other way, and that's foul. just foul. The pitch. The punch out there. One down. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Curtis Mead. First pitch no, doesn't find the zone. One oh. Good eye right oh, there. The Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two to second for one. Throw to first, safe. No batter number six. Shortstop, Taylor So they're down to their final out. And now the shortstop, Taylor Walls. First That's offering, and it That's just inside. misses. Hey, There's I a strike. Two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Got him. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.